The A50X is packed with amazing features. Follow these setup videos to use all that the A50X has to offer. Let's connect your Astro A50X multi-platform lightspeed headset and base station to your PS5 gaming system. Here's everything that comes in the box. The headset, base station, a USB-C combo cable, power adapter, plug, and a USB-C to USB-A cable. If you want to connect two consoles such as an Xbox and PS5, in addition to what's included in the box of your A50X, you will need three HDMI cables and another USB-C to USB-A cable. Each gaming console comes with one HDMI cable, but you'll need an extra HDMI cable to complete full setup for use with two consoles. To help ensure the best experience, please make sure to get new HDMI 2.1 cables. The cables will be rated as ultra high speed and or 48 gigabits per second. When buying cables, make sure that they are HDMI certified by spotting the official ultra high speed logo and authenticity QR code. While a standard HDMI cable will work, HDMI 2.1 is required to achieve the full audio and video power of the latest generation Xbox and PS5 consoles. Check the links in the description for suggested HDMI 2.1 cables. Let's take a look at the A50X headset. Here's the power switch, PlaySync input switching button, Bluetooth button, volume knob, and game voice balancer. Now let's set up your A50X multi-platform lightspeed headset and base station. The first step is to connect your A50X to power. Attach the plug to the power adapter. Connect the red USB-C end of the combo cable that came with your A50X to the red marked USB-C port on the base station. Then take the other USB-C end of the combo cable and connect that to the included power adapter and plug that into a valid power source. Next, connect an HDMI cable from the base station output port to an available HDMI input on your TV. To charge, dock the A50X headset into the base station with the boom mic on the left side and slide the power switch on the headset to the on position. To connect your PS5 console, first take the HDMI 2.1 cable that came with your PS5. Connect one side of the cable to the HDMI input on the A50X base station under the PS label, and the other side of the cable to the HDMI output port on your PS5. Then grab a spare USB-C to USB-A cable. Connect the USB-C side to the USB-C port on your A50X base station and the USB-A side to the open USB-A port on your PS5. Make sure your TV or monitor is on and the HDMI 2.1 input that you connected the A50X to is selected. Then turn on your PS5 console. Tap the PlaySync button on the headset to switch from Xbox or PC to PS. You should now see your PS5 on your TV or monitor. Configuring the PS5. The A50X works best with the PlayStation console when both HDMI and USB connections are used. Before beginning, make sure to update to the latest system software as determined by Sony. Place the A50X headset in the base station dock and power it on. Go to Settings, Sound, Audio Output. For Output Device, choose HDMI Device, TV, and make sure Switch Output Device automatically is disabled. For HDMI Device Type, choose TV. Navigate to the bottom under Audio Format, Priority, select Linear PCM. If you wish to use PlayStation 3D Audio, please head to 3D Audio TV Speakers, but do not use Measure Room Acoustics using TV Speaker. Under Microphone, make sure A50X is selected. Disable HDMI CEC on PS5. Go to Settings, System, HDMI. Toggle off Enable HDMI Device Link. Make sure HDCP is toggled on. 
make sure ALLM is on or set to automatic. Then under Settings, Screen and Video, suggest to not use 1440p output if the TV is natively 4K. Ensure VRR is on, but does not matter if Apply to Unsupported Games is on, off. Ensure 120Hz output is enabled or set to automatic. Ensure HDR is set to on when supported. Optionally, we suggest a just HDR guide since each TV model will differ in performance. When the headset is docked and powered off, audio from the PlayStation will pass through the A50X base station to your TV or speakers. When the headset is undocked and powered on, audio from the PlayStation will be auto-routed to the headset.